Yo, what's up, Kipto here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this. First, we gotta take this mural and make the composition t-shirt friendly. That means we gotta slam this thing into portrait mode. All right, that's looking good. Let's put those cute little dragon arms on either side there. Okay, so this bottom face worked out well for the mural, but it's not gonna cut it for the t-shirt. I want the faces to match up facing us. There's another mural I did in London that was similar. All right, uh, it's looking a little weird. Let's grab the nose from the top here and just copy paste it down beneath it. And I love doing these tribal marks on the face. It gives it like an attitude and a personality. And it kind of matches up with the dragon theme too. Start laying in some heavy blacks here and get that hair situated in there in the top to anchor it. Now I'm gonna draw these light blues on top and try and simplify as I go because I only get so many colors with these screen prints. Now here's the secret weapon. This Kyle T. Webster triangle new whatever halftone brush. I think it comes with Photoshop. We're about to get buck wild with this brush right here. Check this out. Ooh, damn, that's hot. Look at that. That's so cool. You can just draw halftones and it, it really brings that piece to life. Now we can start doing a little bit more volume and shading without having everything so flat. And I really like how it looks. It's almost like a comic book. Now, when we start getting a little more complicated here, I'm making sure to keep each color in its own layer on top of each other. That way, we can separate it later. Let's give this dragon some body here and start filling out this beast. As you can see, I'm just tracing over my own painting and making it digitized and t-shirtified. I wanted to redraw the head just a tiny bit and kind of tweak the nose because I painted this a while ago and I've kind of upgraded my dragon faces to lion serpent style. Now for these scales, I don't want to draw every single scale. And with these half tones, I want to create volume and texture. So I'm being careful and considerate with where I put the shapes and the half tones. Same for up here. I don't want to do every single scale. I just want to create kind of like a, a vibe. I'm going to chop that a little bit. It was a little too much. I think we're slimming out a bit. And just painting these scales on top of his body that are catching the most light, I think does a lot of wonders. Add a little bit of extra red there to break it up and keep the piece moving. Now I'm gonna add my fifth color, which is a lighter red. Click on color libraries and go through the Pantone colors and find something that works. I'm gonna choose this one right here. I started with the half tones this time and I'm gonna go with solids on top of that. And this chick is meant to be the same face, so no need to redraw the nose. Let's bring that down. Now, right
right here, I realized that this hair is way too straight. So let's redo that, give it some curves and bring that circle energy back into there to emphasize those two orbs on the top and the bottom. Now for some light red highlights on the chick's face. And I want to make sure it works on multiple backgrounds. These were the original colors that I chose, but we ended up switching it later. Now I'm going to add some finesse and some flair up in here. Along with some good old splatter effects for maximum impact. And we're getting real close here. Slap our logo on there and that's coming out clean right there. So at this point it's looking pretty good and after staring at it for give or take a long ass time, I think it's ready. I'll go ahead and flatten all the different color layers into five separate flat layers and send that off to the screen printer. Now, before all of this, over on Patreon, during one of our Q&A sessions, one of my patrons, Eric Staub, actually reached out to me and proposed doing a project with his screen printing shop. Luckily, I already had this preliminary design floating around, waiting for the right moment. So this seemed like the perfect fit. Now, I wanna tell you a little bit about his shop since he was awesome enough to sponsor part of this project. Not only is Staub screen printing super easy to work with, their customer service makes sure every project is up to the highest quality standards. When my design was ready, Eric put me in touch with Sarah, who's really on top of things for getting the schedule and the quotes geared up for production. She even worked with me on all the garment and color options to choose from. And she's got a hot take on what's fresh right now. Then Brittany took care of the proofs with layouts and sizing so I could get a good visual beforehand. From there, the screens were burned and Eric sent me a couple quick snapshots from the shop and I received a couple test shirts before the big production run. After a couple color tweaks, we're ready to fire. I'm used to doing almost everything myself, so letting go and trusting these guys to do the best job possible, uh, I couldn't help but be a little nervous. But after seeing the final results, Man, I'm really blown away. The details and the halftones are all there in spectacular fashion. And it looks just like how I imagined. It was a breeze to work with these guys. Not only do they offer screen printing and embroidery, but they have these custom sublimation products as well. Look, you made me a custom mask. Check that out. You can get your own masks. They got mugs here, sick mugs. They got glasses cleaners for your glasses. I definitely need this. They have literally hundreds of products you can print your artwork on. So if you're looking to get your own shirts printed or your own custom art swag here, make sure to hit up Staub Screen Printing and Embroidery. Links are in the description. Thank you guys, check them out. And thanks for your hard work. Big thanks to everybody that's already picked up a shirt and a hoodie. They're flying off the rack. So if you're trying to pick up a Christmas gift, now is the best time to do it because this is your last chance to get something for the holidays. Or, you know, just treat yourself. Three words for you. Treat yourself. I'm gonna be heading home for the holidays. I've never been home for Christmas since I moved to California. So it's gonna be a real treat to be back home with my family. And uh, I wanna dig through my old sketchbooks and my old artwork and show you guys a little blast from the past and uh, do a comparison, maybe uh, redraw one of my old pieces or something like that. So. That'll be fun, that'll be coming up uh, sometime in January. I'm doing a big push to get everything done for 2020 that I had on my plate so far, so I'm trying to get everything locked and loaded here. So a couple more cool character drawing videos coming your way, and we're just gonna keep rolling with the punches. Make sure to sign up for my Patreon. We've got a cool community getting built over there. Behind the scenes footage, real-time demo walkthroughs, all sorts of cool stuff, so make sure to check that out. Keep feeding that kinetic imagination. Happy holidays, and thanks for watching.